Why do we play Super Auto Pets? Some people play to run the meta. What the hell is wrong with you, man? You suck, odd man, you suck. Other people play to achievement hunt. Some people play to find cool synergies. And other people are on a quest for that one special build. And we do. <laughs> we finally got it though. After all the questing, all of it. Welcome to the quest. Hello and welcome to the first episode of The Quest. I'm so excited for this series. And look, I actually had a different plan for episode one, but upon making that intro, I saw that Sag's zombie cricket quest was actually, he was calling it The Quest, and he finished by saying, The Quest is complete, or something like that. So, episode one, in homage to Sag, part of these, some of these videos, I will honor some of my favorite SAP videos, other ones I'll do my own kind of thing. This episode has to be Zombie Cricket Level 3. It just has to be. We are on the quest. So, I'm going to bring some runs to you. I don't know right now if I'm going to get it in one go or 50. Either way, it's going to be a good video. And let's get started. Okay, run one. My first attempt proved that I am one of the biggest idiots in the world. The whole point of this series was why just bring you the final product when we could go on a journey together, right? And then I thought that I'd completed it on the first run. I was so proud. My chest was out. Look at how great I am. But I forgot one crucial ingredient to this challenge. You can see what it is. We're going to pick this one up from turn 13. That one health could be big. It is big. Give me my massive buff. Dude, maybe it is Tiger. Level 3 zombie cricket, baby. I'm going to freeze this chocolate. Look at all the pets in the shop. And now it's this. And it's this. And I want to see Stingray. I should put steak. Note to self, steak should be in this pack. Absolutely. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Didn't get the stingray, which stings, funnily enough. Maybe we can squeeze through. Oh no, the turkey has one health. We're fine. Oh my god, two to go. Don't tell me I get it first attempt. Oh, eggplant would have been good. Oh, the stingray exists to do nothing at this point. Nice. Although you still have a nurse shark, so maybe we draw. But there's none left, idiot. <laughs> oh, we're one away. I think a melon on you could move the needle. I'd like to see eggplant. Thank you. Mess up their order a bit. Stingray, at this point, you just, there's no point. So maybe you take a mantis shrimp. In fact, you. You know, you, you know, you take a skunk. You just throw a skunk at the back. If we... This quest series... Imagine if we get it on the first attempt. Oh, we did... <laughs> oh, that was the first run. <laughs> Stop. Enhance that image. Massive idiot located. Stop. Enhance next image. Cricket not 50 50. Sag is crying in the corner. I, I'm actually an idiot. It's a 50 50 zombie cricket. It's not just any zombie. It's not just winning with the level 3 zombie cricket. It's a 50 50. So that would like. Oh my god. I have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and the sub oh my god i was like I, i'm so smart i got it first attempt i, I was doing it wrong <laughs> this is not how i intended this series to go although it is a quest of sorts so you just get back in and thus begun a series of painful runs where i basically realized what the hell i'd gotten myself into 
And it's safe to say I got quite dejected as the runs went on. We can move to Melon Armor soon. If we make it through, you're going to kill my cricket, aren't you? Oh! oh, I thought that run had it, man. That's six. Okay, how am I going to get it to 50-50, I hear you asking? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Ah, we lost again, man. And freeze you. And you just bring in another Cobra right there. <laughs> oh, man. We have four to go. Cobra, hit the turkey, please. No. 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 Thank you. I don't think it mattered. Bad hits and we still win. Yes, yes. I like the idea of a toga, ti a toga, a tiger behind the cobra. And then the last two rounds, assuming we get there, can be spent building up the cricket. Ah. Cat. <gasps> or cobra. Cat. Ooh, double bird of paradise even? Can a, no, because the skunk's the only in-game ability. We'll see, we'll see. Oh my god, I can't believe I lost to that team. <laughs> oh, a funny team, but a team that hurts my feelings. Okay, let's just step back for a second and let's take stock of what's happened. First, I have gone for an incredibly ambitious challenge for the first episode. The next part was me thinking I got it. And then me realizing I'm an idiot and I didn't get it. And now I'm stuck in the doldrums of this impossible challenge, slowly losing my mind. At this point, I was getting frustrated. But I am on the quest. This is what the quest is all about. I picked myself up and had some really good back-to-back -back runs. However, I faced the same damn team twice and was eliminated by them both times. Maybe, maybe just like this then. Oh, there's a chance. Oh, it's such a depressing way to lose. Please don't tell me I don't get 50-50 and that's the reason this run doesn't get there. Oh, I need to draw more. <laughs> How do I do it? Hit the hit the cricket. Thank you. Hit the cricket. Keep hitting the cricket. Oh, dude, it's halfway. Oh no. Okay, this guy. This is a good team that eliminated me earlier. Oh, the run's over. <laughs> At this point, any rational person would give up. Stop playing, move on, start a new challenge. The world is your oyster. But not us, we are questing. And we will not give up, despite a series of depressing results. Let's do this, and let's do this. And I, do, I struggle to see a way in which we win, but you just, you never know. Level it next round. <sighs> Cat or Bird of Paradise is what I need. Ah, oh, it's so rude. Oh my god. Hours later. I'm back with a vengeance. 
Back with a Vegemite. <laughs> that wasn't funny at all. Moving on. Okay, so what followed that terrible joke was 43 minutes or seven runs of failed attempts. So instead of bringing you the end clip and showing how much I suck, you know, like, it's not even sucking. Like, think about it. When you're watching your favorite SAP YouTubers, they're going through this struggle. If people, if we get it first attempt, it's a miracle, man. Same as anyone when they go for a challenge. So you can say it's me sucking. You can say it's me just not getting what I needed. Either way, instead of bringing you all the 43 minutes of, you know, montages and whatever, let's just watch the, the most fun run we had. I'm going to say nothing. You can enjoy the funky synergy and we'll pick it up from turn eight. Okay, I'm pausing. This run has massive potential. Ooh, I'm freezing the whole shop. And I'll be back soon. Goodbye. Okay, I've eaten more chicken than somebody should ever eat in a single sitting. Or a single serving. Where was I? Okay, this is good. Now you can go to the front. Now you can get out of my life. You can come in. You can not come in. I feel good about that. Don't know what the rest of my team is going to be, but I feel good about where we are. I don't feel good anymore. Lovely. What are you going to give me? Okay, just go at the back, I guess. It's really not a strong team. What a disaster. Grizzly is interesting. I'm gonna say no. I need more. I need more. Let's give me some more gold next turn. This is a trash turn 10 team. Unless the... 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 the, the, the Oh, I struggle with that word. That stalk. Spit out something magical. Okay. Start here. Let's run it back. It's important scaling. Remember the challenge. The grizzly continues to interest me. I'm actually going to take it. That seems good. And a cat for scaling. And Bob's your uncle, mate. Penguin goes. Cat in. Scow, scow, scow. Grizzly, maybe. Oh, you ruined my one up. Oh my god, it worked. Holy smokes. Goodbye. Hello. 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 We've taken a big risk there, but if we get through this round, cooking with gas, man. It's a weird team. Nice one. Dead. Come on. So I do need to get the, the cricket up. Let's focus on stats and one-ups for now. So two chocolates and then there's a whole bunch of food. Wait, then I kill you? 
And I get future bed scaling. Tremendous. Why not? It's always fun. Okay, two chocolates in the final two rounds if we win this. Couldn't tell you if we win. Oh. Very upset about that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the quest. So the last image you saw of me was looking angry, depressed, sad, everything that these sorts of runs, all the emotions you get from it. After that, I stepped away from the laptop and let me take you behind the scenes. <laughs> I was sitting on the couch, my housemate and I were watching wrestling, we're big WWE fans, and we were, I don't know, Seth Rollins or someone was up on screen doing damage, and I was playing runs over and over again on my phone, and I think I was getting better. The, the challenge just continued to be getting the cricket early enough, and scaling it early enough, and actually being able to survive the mid-game without getting totally destroyed. So I'm watching wrestling, I'm doing my thing, and then this run happens so i was thinking about like condensing it but this is a quest man we'll watch it in full and by the way this is on 150 percent game speed and it still took 11 minutes <laughs> which tells you the severity of these runs i actually can't remember the specifics this was recorded four days ago and you know things happen in the in the world things like uh, i work a lot man like uh, i forget these things maybe you might say hey a more professional youtuber would have uh watch the run before commentating on it but um i'm not a professional youtuber i'm just a professional sat player self-appointed <laughs> as one what a dramatic pull on the pig it was interesting that i don't want either of those mm, it's quite interesting what you're seeing right there right instead of looking to level cricket first i have just said get me strong damn I'm, I'm, I'm even turning down crickets and shop the reason for this is I want the cricket to get two level ups and I want to have clownfish in my team. That was that was the strategy I'd gone for. It's funny how these things evolve as you're doing these runs. That was the strategy I wanted. There's actually, <clears throat> uh, seeing that guy's name reminded me, there's actually a really crucial turning point you're going to see later. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just let it roll for a bit and I'll sort of talk about this series. I've alluded to it a few times throughout the video. Uh, what really pushed me to make this is that when you're grinding for those special builds, the process can be one run or it can be 100. And you often hear like, you know, I watch uh, I watch many, many, many Zap YouTubers. You hear Grounded, you hear Flame, you hear um, uh, Super Auto Gaming. You hear them reference, oh, this run, uh, it probably took me 40 runs. Oh, it probably took me... 80. And it seems a shame to me to sort of lose all of that. It's respectable that you just bring the end run, but I wanted to have a series where I'm, I'm sort of culminating it all together. You don't just see the final run, you see the process. Oh, speaking of Grounded, he just liked my comment. You love my comment, Grounded Sap. I love you. There was a video in the past where I pretended to kiss you. But I'm not saying I wouldn't do it if I saw you in real life. If I made my way to... Uh, Scotland? I believe it's a Scottish accent. I Scotland. Is that a good Scottish accent? I am from Scotland. Um, <laughs> so, I'm sorry, granted. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I want this to be a series, maybe once a week, maybe like a weekly Sunday thing, where I am going for something special and I'm going to bring you with me, but not just upload three hours worth of footage, right? edit it, try to make it enjoyable, and you know you're going to see a, a fantastic run at the end, and hopefully you can enjoy the journey along the way. I am not good at editing, by the way, so I'm doing my best. Please bear with me. Anyway, tuning back to, <laughs> tuning back to the run. Ideally, I would get the run live commentary, but you just, you just can't always push through. I mean, what, that was like approximately three hours of recording like I said, man, I'm busy. I'm doing things. And this is where the run sort of turns. We get a monkey. 
which I'd been doing a lot, but the clownfish and the swan are giving us that extra juice around the edges. And I love juice. I kind of wish I brought more to the table than just saying I love juice, but anyway. This seems not that strong. And we're going to get through. Good. So now, having three health on turn nine is a rarity, and we get the level. The important scaling. T-Rex, worthless to us. Keep trying to level up. Double juggled. Oh, that's where the clownfish play came to fruition beautifully. And we get Bird of Paradise. So now the monkey was giving us scaling on the cricket. The clownfish means our main three units are really strong. And now we can bring in Bird of Paradise and continue to wide scale. And now these are stats you can get behind. Splash damage going hard. But not hard enough. The clownfish has got us there. If you're planning on doing this challenge, I highly encourage... The clownfish strat, we all know it's overpowered. And what do you do here? Do you level up a monkey? Mmm, sneaky plays. <laughs> so, wait, I need to go back. It's so perfect, right, for the theme of this. So Grounded replies to my comment. Hey, the failed runs... The failed attempts don't look like, because I'd commented on how smart his game was that he'd uploaded. And he said, oh, the, the failed runs don't look like 200 IQ. Well, exactly, man. Like, that's why this series is to bring the failed runs as well. I think it's disingenuous to act like you just get it perfect every time, you know? And I appreciate that. <clears throat> so Monkey's sticking at this point. That was the decision I made. The Clownfish did its job, and now it's out. And, and dude, like other people have commented on this, in the current state, Stingray is an automatic tier 5 unit you have to take. To have that passive 6-6 six, six scaling, and it only costs you 2 gold for the buy sell, you, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Okay, so this was the moment. This was the moment I knew we were onto something here. This guy, remember I said I mentioned, I remembered his name earlier? Zubakwata God, as tends to happen when you're going for runs over and over again, you verse the same teams, right? This particular turn 10 team was kicking my butt. All day, I was losing to this on turn 10. But on this round, we actually have had the scaling to overcome it. And this is where I'm no longer focusing on WWE. Maybe passively I am, but now I'm thinking we're actually going to, we're actually there. And you could think double level two Stingray don't want to do it. Instead, buy, sell, make the most of the wide scaling, roll twice, get your buffs. Yeah, there it is. And now we get another bird of paradise. I wonder if moving to skunk was a better play there, but it's... I'm, I'm actually quite happy with how I played this. The, the question becomes, hey, uh, Rev, you don't have any in-game abilities. Oh, believe me, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> Continue to wide, wide scale. Oh, it's, uh, so now I'm getting excited. Three health remaining, four wins to go. The quest could be complete right here. By the way, um, let me know in the comments if anybody else has done the Zombie Cricket 50-50 other than SAG, obviously. I'm sure, I'm sure there are people. I've realized upon making bold claims in the last month when I say, oh, I'm like the third person to do this. And then sort of realizing, no, many, no, more people have done it. <laughs> So, please let me know if you've done this. If you do try it, like I said, it's got to be clownfish, and it's got to be wide scaling, and you've got to bring in abilities later, in my humble opinion. Sag, for example, he did it with pure scaling. You just got to outrace people. And by the way, the zombie cricket is about to hit 50-50. So, we're here on run... Couldn't tell you. Run number... Somewhere in like the 25 to 40 range. And we have our best chance. So there's the skunk. In-game ability. We all know the skunk. Even level 1 can just like change battles. Summon team. Seems nasty. We're statted, dude. And we have enough. And we have two wins to go. So you best believe I'm on my couch sweating at this point. <laughs> so there's Stingray, but we don't really need it at this point. The skunk is obviously gone just to... Um, facilitate like buy cells but we should bring in something with an ability later let's see what we opt for 
we go for the capsicum. And there's melon. So what do you do here? In my opinion, you bring in pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, obviously, me of four days ago had a different approach. You know, the, um, it's a metaphor for life, really. You know, like the expression that you're never the same uh, as you were 10 years ago. Well, I'm never the same as I was four days ago. We even beat Nurse Shark Potato teams. I mean, we draw. So obviously the better fish goes. Good riddance if you're asking me. And this is a good call. The monkey's now going to move to the front. So we give that the melon. We actually could have stingrayed earlier in hindsight. Hindsight's 2020. Crickets are 50 50. <laughs> and now I take it. Odd decision. Perhaps getting a little bit uh, desperate. And that's the moment. That, you've just witnessed the moment. We officially move off our bird of paradise. And now we bring in our units. The mantis shrimp really just exists to pop a melon at the front. The skunk to drop health. And there you go. Instant results. And we break through. So now we're one away. And now you can taste it, you know. You can taste it. We prioritize melon. We get a capsicum there because maybe it makes a difference. And I thought about one-upping the skunk, but I didn't. I do rem I do remember having that thought process. And you just chuck a melon at the back, even though really, like, it doesn't do too much. The monkey is scaling nicely. Here we come. Uh-oh. Level 3 Spino, level 3 Parrot. We're not beating this team. We are not beating this team. Snipes. Were the only thing that could have saved us there. And instead, look at this disgusting, absolute monstrosity they've created. We're not even close. And now I'm getting nervous. Now I'm like rocking in my chair a little bit. The quest might not be over. I might have to keep going. I was so convinced. We get our stats. We look to level up. We just want levels at the back. We get one. Skunk. Great play. Don't level up into Mantis Rip. Roll into one. We roll into it. So now the level two skunk, the level two mantis shrimp, we move the mantis shrimp to the back because it has pepper. We roll into our battle. It is turn 16. Big stats on their side. Pierce through the capsicum, the pepper saves the day. And just like that, the quest is complete. Episode one of the quest, zombie cricket 50-50, an homage to SAG. Please let me know if you enjoy the concept of this series because I really enjoyed creating it and editing and all that good stuff. Um, and that's it. That's me signing off. Quest episode one complete.